my first day in Timisoara and I am by myself. Um, I'm gonna be by myself mostly the whole week walking around because Alex is at a course the entire day. <laughs> Uh, but that's okay because I have plenty of things that I want to see on my checklist and we're gonna go see them together and I'm also gonna give you a small guide with the local food around here because there's so many dishes that I want to try uh, local dishes mostly and a few nice cafes and bars and at the end of the week we have a very cool uh, festival called Kodru Fest um, it has a lot of artists that I wanted to see. It's mostly D&B, reggae, dub, that kind of stuff. So it's well within my area. And I'm very excited. to mention it's gonna be 36 degrees today so I'm probably gonna die but um, I'll hide somewhere at lunchtime to eat at a traditional restaurant called Miorito. The food was delicious and the atmosphere was very nice. We had some vegetable soup, some fried potato dumplings and an amazing crepe dessert with caramelized apples and walnuts. Good morning! This is our second day here. Um, and I'm planning to go in one of the main squares and fly the drone because um, there's a very nice building that I wanted to show you. And afterwards, I'm gonna go to the village uh, museum, which has traditional Romanian houses. And it's gonna be very nice, so I'm looking forward to that. to the village museum and it's very nice and quiet and not a lot of people so I can just walk at my own pace. Um, it's also really warm because I got here at around 11 and I think it takes like a, an hour at least to visit but it's nice that it's covered with trees so the temperature is manageable. Um, but yeah, mostly I wanted to get here because there's nice Romanian architecture especially if you wanted to see more tradition on the more traditional side of uh, Romania, it's a nice spot to see the architecture and uh, all the things that people used to do back then. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's a very nice location to see and it's very educational, so I highly recommend.
super scared of chickens. Another evening ended with delicious meals at Ferreria 700. I had a crispy chicken schnitzel with potatoes on the side and a very traditional dessert called papanash. And this is what it looked like in the morning because it was very dark there. I'm happy to announce that last night rained a bit so today is just a little bit cooler. But nonetheless I think it's gonna be 30 something degrees. So I usually get to walk around mornings and afternoons because it's way too hot. It's also kind of dangerous but yeah. I'm gonna explore the lower part of the city. So the outskirts kind of but it's not the outskirts, it's just the outskirts of the center anyway. Uh, a few parks, a few churches and a few plazas. So yeah. Also just a tip because I've heard there's quite a lot of uh, organized crimes around here. Uh, there's like a group of thieves that um, smash the windows of the cars if you leave anything inside so um, better safe than sorry if you come here by car don't leave anything but I mean anything in the car <laughs> because that's usually the reason to smash your windows and possibly also steal your car we haven't had any incidents right now because <laughs> we, like, we just picked our car clean but um, yeah just just to be safe so we got to the rose park um, but we're out of the season but we'll see what we can find around here I'm sure it's still such a nice garden but uh, if you come into the rose season obviously it's gonna be much much nicer just filming in the morning because uh, I'm also working this trip so we have a nice project coming along um, but I'm not gonna talk about that right now but um, today uh, I'm just in the botanical garden or more like ex botanical garden it used to be a garden now it's just uh, a park and afterwards I want to go to Ikea because uh, we have none in our town and I'm kind of missing it and I want to get some stuff also I could be looking around because there's no one here and it's kind of shady but you know it's like 9 a.m. <laughs> fair enough <laughs> on a weekday um, but yeah so far the trip was really nice I've seen a lot of places that I wanted to and surprisingly I had time for everything that uh, I had on my checklist but <laughs> yeah um, it was kind of a peaceful trip and then most afternoons I was just in the Airbnb walking so but uh, here's the here's the park mostly it's very nice anyway uh, I can't trip today so I'm super excited and I'll show you a few things that I wanted to get from there and that's kind of it I got to one of the uh, town malls parks and as you can hear it's music at 9 a.m. in the morning. Oh. This is the most perfectly cut grass I've ever seen. And I think this is a mall. It's huge. Or maybe it's not the mall, I don't know. What do I know? I mean, they have a freaking lake here. It's insane. However, I think it's very nice for mall employees when they have a break or a lunch break. They can just come here and I would have said enjoy the quiet, but there's so much music. But it's it's nice music anyway. 
I don't know, to make sure I just take my money, honestly. While I was here, I also wanted to see the underground passage because it had an amazing collection of street art that I wanted to see, so here it is. looking for um, pillow sheets because I wanted to switch it up a bit but maybe we'll find something else as well I love these these are so nice this I am not sure if the size is right I forgot what size of table is but um, I like it and it's cheap so okay so these are my color choices mostly because I like the texture because um, I wanted to also be comfy but um, I'm not sure between the green and the darker green one. Hmm. They both fit. Okay, so these are the throw pillow covers that I got together with a throw blanket that was very nice and soft. And this very nice linen tablecloth with a candle holder. So at night time we went to Quadrofest, which was during Friday, Saturday and Sunday nights. And we had a blast. <laughs> 